So I'm here with Sarah McClayum. Okay, Sarah, what was your journey to becoming a social worker like? Well, my journey didn't start off to be a social worker. I graduated from Newberry College in two years, and my goal was to go to medical school. And once I started medical school, I found out I was going to have my first child. And my husband and I thought about it and said, you know, you can do this. I said, no, I can't. And bottom line, I decided not to. I decided to have the baby and take care of the baby for a while and then pursue my education, which I ended up doing social work. My son that I had ended up being the doctor. So it became very full circle. Mm -hmm. I really do believe that I have touched more lives in this profession. It was meant to be. It was very definitely meant to be. It was not a coincidence, and I've enjoyed every day of it. I am one of the few people who can say I love going to work. What does the Dean's Award mean to you? Well, it was certainly a surprise. Um, I'm very motivated, and every day is a new day for me, and I see so many different people in so many situations. And I do know that I make a considerable change in people. I've, I've been in this business long enough that children that I serve come back as an adult now and never forget some things that I told them. Like you're writing your life story every day. Make sure you do your homework and you do the right thing. And so I've seen that change. And I know every day that the person that I am touching, I'm making a positive change because they come back and I see them getting better. And that's the greatest reward you can get. Okay. And on this homecoming weekend, what does it mean to be a Gamecock? Oh, my gosh. You would have to see my house oh. because it is decorated in Gamecock. I had to have to pause for Halloween and Christmas, but it's decorated in Gamecock exclusively. My parents, my whole family bleed garnet and black. Uh, I have a daughter-in-law who went to Clemson, and we asked her to stand outside 30 minutes before she comes in. But other than that, we're Gamecocks. Uh, I have a sheep -a doodle and he is a Gamecock. Honestly, I have recorded this, and you would have to see he watches every girl's basketball game without a pause, sit and watches it. He knows when people start clapping, he should start jumping. And I've also trained him on the new commercial I'm sure you've seen with the Clemson guy opens up his shirt on the first date. I said, that's a Clemson, and we don't like Clemson. And George goes and growls and tries to get him. <laughs> so you, you have to be a Gamecock even if you're a pet. Okay, and one last question for you. What would you tell an aspiring social worker coming in, some advice you would give them? For someone wanting to be a social worker? Yeah. You will never be in a job where you touch this many people in a positive way. When I retired from the state, they determined somehow or another that I had seen over 250,000 clients at that point. And you think you touch that many people and you help that many people, and you start where they are and you get them where they want to be. 